Well, hello. It's been a little while, hey? <laughs> we took off. We went to uh, Mitchell, South Dakota. Then we stopped in Rapid City, where you can see by the videos. And we've been so busy, we just couldn't say hello. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> Yeah, we're in Keystone right now, and we're walking through town, and we're waiting for a train ride on a 1880s train. So, thought it'd be a good time to say morning, all. And we'll show you some sights. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of country. That's why we came up here was the country more so than all the things that's going on in town. Tourisms but. and here comes the helicopter if you can hear it. We get helicopter tours. regularly scheduled program. <laughs>
dog. So everybody, please check your tickets and make sure you're on the right side, the right train car. This is side seats, A and B, track side, C and D, concrete platform side. The air conditioning, but speaking windows, please do not hang out the windows or over railings The open train cars become rather close to trees and rocks. You don't want you to get hurt. And if you were to drop something. Camp was located at the mouth of Palmer Gulch, which you are now leaving. A number of small places. Four short toots in a row means the engineer wants the conductor for something. You can hear it now and then, but not too often. So as the conductor and the brakeman come through and gather up tickets... If you have any questions about anything, just ask them. They'll be happy to help you out with the answer. Cheryl is still coming through. Souvenir photos from Captured Memory. And we're off. Now when you see people, they're going to wave at you. We're a friendly train here. I'll talk about the engine just a little ways up the rail. The roundhouse is on the right. You can see big engine number 110 there. And diesel 63, 1956 GP9. And then as we leave station here on the left, you're going to be able to see our oldest steam engine number 7. Once again, welcome on board the 1880 train. As the train pulls out of station, look around at the granite peaks and thick ponderosa pine forests surrounding you. An army expedition led by George Custer turned up gold a few miles south of here in 1874. Within months, there were thousands of miners, mule skinners, madams, gunslingers, and gamblers swarming across the landscape, eager to get their hands on some of the shiny yellow metal. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy your ride aboard the 1880 train. With us, you do not need to worry about anything else. Let us do the driving. This is the best attraction to spend time with family and friends while enjoying the Black Hills, just like the early pioneers, miners, and settlers did when they discovered the West.
but making it to the top of 10 Mill Hill. We've gone up in elevation about 200 feet from Hill City Station, right here to the top. We're going to level out, start our way down to Keystone. We go down in elevation about 800 feet. Our concession sellers will be coming through the train cars. We have Sydney and Nadia. One will start at one end, one will start at the other end. They have candy popcorn and drinks. They can tell you just what they have and how much it costs. And it is a cash only deal here on the 1880 train. Now the engine that we're using today is engine 108. It's our newest old steam engine. It's a 1926 Baldwin locomotive. Oil fired articulated compound Mallet. The wheel arrangement is 2662T, two small pony wheels, six drivers, six drivers, two small pony wheels. T means it's a tank engine and this is a complete saddle tank engine. The Palmer Gulch. On the left, you're going to see a three wheeled wagon that's pretty cool looking. Windmill, makes a nice picture to the left. If you're staying at the KOA on Highway 244, it'll be to your right, right at the Gulch. The two billion year old rocks you see around you are much older than the 20 million year old slopes of the Rocky Mountains.
Well, yesterday we took a train ride from Keystone to Hill City, but I didn't have enough time to go through the museum in Hill City. Only had about 15 minutes between round trips, so I drove to Hill City this morning so we could go through the museum. Although cabis used to be acceptable as the plural for fun railroad fact. 